it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today, we are going to go shopping. I'm going to take you with me. I feel like spending some money. Not entirely sure what on, but that's the fun part. Um, my friend Parisa shall be joining us. She is equally a savage, so um, she'll really tell me if something I'm looking at is uh, of the worst. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here, so head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Are you ready, guys? Vibe. I think it's very a look. <gasps> that is so sweet. I mean, I don't think it's me, but don't we think it's very cute? Please, your thoughts. It is you very. Hate it. You hate it. I don't love Prada. I have to admit, it's just not. It's not my vibe. I think it's a bit look with the gold hardware. It's so sweet. Okay. We need to talk about this print. So this is like a new collection they're doing in this print. And I'm not entirely sure how to feel about it. I don't, it's not something that like I saw and I was like, oh, I love. But at the same time. See, I quite like the mannequin. Like <laughs> the dress. See what I mean? <laughs> and the print and the mannequin. But it's not giving me anything. So they're like doing it on bags. There's like a few shoes in there that I've seen. There but is the suggestion that 1850 whatever is when they first established. I mean, I've not brushed up on my luxury fashion history, but just an assumption. Well, it says since 1854. Okay, so we're going to put two and two together and we're making four. <laughs> So it's I like that a lot. Why are people afraid to mix gold and silver jewelry? Definitely have lost the gold. These are very very pretty. As much as you know, this style is not me. We can agree no, on this, I can't think we? That you could definitely do. That. Do you think? Yeah. Maybe I just need to sort of go outside of my comfort zone and try one. I prefer the hot pink diamond oh. situation. Oh. Than the yeah, that's so nice. This is very you in like the sort of like Monaco. <gasps> Do you not think? Yes. That's very Cassie in Monaco. Now I just need to go to Monaco and get that bag. Oh, I love it. It doesn't look right to me. I don't know what it is. I did get the uh, the white because the black was not available online and I'm... <gasps> okay, I think that this would suit you. It's a throw on and go. It's a don't think about it. It's I'm this running outside of the... That's fine. These shoes I hate. What if you meant to put your coins in the keys? Airpods and what else? No. Maybe a snack? A sort of fun size portion of Haribo? Really See? Oh, I do like that. Very cute. That is very cute. They have this yeah, one. This one's a little bit more masculine, but like still you could... Yeah, yeah, exactly. They this also do good. that in the nude. You could do with a nude. Yeah. Have Top handle it for me. See? That would look so cute. I do quite like this, yeah. Plus, I also like the fact that because it's this collection, it's then got that on it that all the other ones don't have. Mm, I am there for the So it gives it a little bit, you know. But I don't necessarily hate it. Though these, like the flaps, I like that for weekend bag travel. Like, yeah, I'm really enjoying that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I know what you mean. But let's discuss this. So I'm a big fan of Bulgari. I'll tell you now. As in the bags, 
in general. I like the brand. I think it's an exclusive brand which I don't see on very many people and I like the snake hair. Very true. I really like that and I would never have considered anything from them but I think that that is fabulous. No, I like it. That's really nice. Very cool. So this is their collaboration with Ambush and she is a like, fabulous Korean American like finger in all of the pies, all of the pies are delicious kind of thing. She DJs, she designs Dior men's jewellery. Cool. Oh I know. And so she did these and out of all of them this is the one that I would get. That's and I. Don't you think it's very but cute? Do you need to have a blue situation. Okay, very true, and to be honest, no. Plus, I'm trying not to buy another bag until I get a Birkin. Every time I see these are not new, right? But every time I see these things, I'm just like, who who is wearing that? This, this point, this snout, right? And that. I can't. I don't think I know how I feel about it. Yeah, it's in general. I feel like, oh god, what's this? I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm at a loss for words with that. Biggest waste of money, don't bother. Have you got that? No, but they're just yeah. like, this like, shitty rubber. Foam, bit of foam. It's got Balenciaga on it, they're gonna charge 300. Yeah. But also, I do, I love oh, that. and that like print and everything, it's so nice. Yeah. That over jeans, that over leggings, that over leggings. That over anything. Oh my God, it's so nice. That is a, a true beauty. Amina Mwadi. I wonder if they actually have any of like the popular sizes and because you can't find them online but then here they are. Are you the of these? Yes. Are they actually comfortable? Yes they are. So Attico we had the famous Frankie shop ones with like the muscle tee with the padded shoulders and Attico did the same but in a t-shirt version. 260 available in a light blue and a white. And as much as I would, uh... oh, why is there an arm cut out? Is that for sort of airflow to the to the armpits? I don't know. Was was it necessary? I mean, what is this? No. That is a situation. That is a situation. Oh my god. Where would one wear this to? This is like something that a middle-aged woman on a cruise wears. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. Also, look at this. Already mm. pulling. Mm. Keep your eyes open. Cecily Benson. This is a very kind of like girly baby doll brand that is also, they know how to charge. Um, but again, this kind of Knowing me, my nail would go straight through that. Yeah. There's no point. Little house on the prairie. Goes out every morning as part of their morning routine and prep, picks a fresh bouquet of peonies or whatever, however you pronounce peonies. them. <laughs> peonies. Puts them on the kitchen table. Makes porridge from scratch. like summery vibes from it like this white t-shirt denim shorts yeah. cute trainers off you go i actually really like that it's good for like a festival price tell me 1550 um, you see that seems a lot for this yeah well i mean i'm not going to buy a, a bag for a festival it's 1550 <laughs> the pico baguette in all of her tiny tiny glory is that just a pother action there she is Perfect bougie home for your airpods. So cute. And then the micro baguette, I believe it's called. Can we get some cards in there? Yes, we could. Little, little even, little dividing pocket there. Very cute. Could wear it crossbody, could wear it around the neck. I do not like that fabric.